have to encourage yourself sometimes you have to speak victory during the test i know my Speak the word and you will be healed. Speak all yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Ah, so, sometimes you, you got the patch on. Sometimes you And no matter how you feel Speak the word of your life in you You will be here Speak over yourself Encourage yourself in the Lord speak a word over yourself depression's all around but God is a present help all the enemy created walls but remember giants they do fall speak all yourself Encourage yourself in the Lord. Oh, as I minister to you, oh, I minister to myself. Life can hurt you. Praise the Lord. That song has been in my spirit for days now. And you know, sometimes we go through trials and tribulations and we have to encourage ourselves because sometimes we won't have anybody right then and there to encourage us. But God has given me a word on tonight. And so I pray that this word will encourage you even more. Praise the Lord. Let's go to St. John 19th chapter now we know we know we that 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 bible studies studiers hallelujah we know that we can read hallelujah scripture but we know hallelujah that god can give you a different revelation revelation or another revelation even more in depth than what exactly you had been reading and sometimes we take those scriptures and we actually you know just look over it because we don't we we, we say oh okay then yeah yeah I, I i knew that i knew that but god had me to go back while studying for bible study in acts 
But he had me to go back to John. Hallelujah. And we know that John, uh, like Pastor Baptiste say, uh, said in her sermon, uh, John saw the, the Christ in his glory. Hallelujah. So now, right now, we want to go to St. John 19 chapter, starting with the 18th and 24th verse. And and and, and I, I just want to, to read that because uh, the 18th verse and uh, to the 24th, I just want to read it because I really want you to hear this. Where they crucified him and two other with him on either side, one, and Jesus in the midst, meaning that he was in the center. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief priests of the Jews to Pilate, write not the king of Jews, but that he said, I am king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. Then the soldier, these are the key verses, then the soldiers, when they crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier a part and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam woven from the top throughout. They said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which says, they parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture, they did cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Now, when God told me to go back and read this again, he gave me such a revelation on it because I may have known it, but then when I revisited, I got a, I got a, a oh, I got a real big rush inside of it because once again, like I've told you before, God has never and will never leave a stone unturned. So then I remembered uh, when I read this, I read uh, 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 these scriptures over, but then he told me to go back to St. John 19 chapter again, the same chapter, and the second verse. And the second verse reads like this, and the soldiers planted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe. Now we know, hallelujah, that purple stands for royalty, luxury, prominence, et cetera, et cetera. These are, that color is for royalty, you know, kings and queens, you know, with the, the, the crowns, the deity. All, I mean, not the deity, but I mean all the prominence that comes with, hallelujah, uh, being a king or a queen, hallelujah. And I said, God, Jesus never walked in pride and luxury or royalty. I mean, as did the kings and the queens of yesterday or today. So I said, I mean, what do you want me to get out of these scriptures? And he said, God said, he told me, he said, he didn't have to. Okay, he, he, he didn't have to do what? He didn't have to walk as others did, as in kings and queens and royalty with heirs and this, that, and other. He didn't have to. So I said, okay. So I went back to John again, 17, verse 20, 21. And this is a prayer that Jesus prayed. Now I want you to stay with me because it's, it's going it's gonna to get good. It's going to get better. This is a Jesus, uh, this is a prayer that Jesus prayed. And St. John 17, 20 and 21 says this, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Put a pen right there. That they may be one as thou father art in me and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou has sent me. So I went back to John 19, 23 and 24, read again. Then I read where the soldiers, when they crucified him, they took his garment and made four parts. So now I underline four parts. 
to every soldier or poet. Now, these soldiers was hired to nail Jesus to the cross. They were hired to, to nail him to the cross. So after that's, that's the reason why when the scripture says, then the soldiers, when they crucified Jesus, took his garments. And so they also took his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. And I said, okay, because... I can sew. I can sew. I, I, I can put some things together. So I used to sew all my clothes back in high school. But but, but I said, okay then, Lord. I said, uh, what exactly do you want me to sell? And he said, you know, you can sew. He said, now you can see right there where it says that they made four parts to every soldier a part and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. So I underlined it. And so I said, God, you know, you're awesome. I said, because from Jesus' conception until his death, even his clothes was a seamless ministry in that it always represented wholeness for mankind. He said, yes, you got that. He said, but I want you to go a little deeper. I said, oh, Lord. I said, okay, then. So verse 24 uh, says this also. They said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it. Now, we've heard that before, casting lots for it, okay? Whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which says, they parted my raiment, one piece and my vesture is the second piece so i went back and i did some i said well lord i know about the rain and, and I, 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 but I'm, I'm still not getting it he said keep on and so he started talking he started talking to me and so he said the raiment as you know venetia is a cloak and that cloak keeps you warm, a covering to keep one from being naked. I said, okay. And that, that raiment was his mantle. And so now, but the vesture, hallelujah, this, 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 this is it, y'all. This is it. He said, but the vesture is a tunic called a shiton worn next to the skin. And then God had me to look uh, uh, at another definition of mantle because I already knew about, 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 about the mantle being passed. A mantle is something that is passed on. Hallelujah. A, a mantle is like if, if, if uh, your father had a business and then your father left you a business. He left you a mantle. He left you an inheritance. He left you something to be passed on. Hallelujah. So that you can not only remember him, but also walk hallelujah in the same footsteps that he has he has taken so now i said okay god i said well, what other mantle were you, were you are you talking about he said the earth has the mantle i said okay i said the earth has a mantle he said yeah he said do you know where the mantle lies i said uh Lord, I got to go back to my science lesson. I said, I can't, re I can't remember uh, where the mantle in the earth lies. I said, I've heard of the mantle in the earth. I said, but you know, I've been out of school a long time now. I said, you're going to have to explain to me. So he said, the mantle lies between the earth, a uh, dense, superheated core, and its outer layer, the crust. Even his clothes represented how Jesus was a power in earth. The intercessor for us, standing between God and man, he was the mantle that covers us and is still covering us seamlessly without a double stitch, cross stitch, meaning double stitch, double minded, and cross stitch meaning he never betrayed us because he never had a slip stitch in that, that, that inner, inner garment, hallelujah, his vesture, because he never thought about one time about not going to the cross for our sins. Hallelujah. So therefore, even his clothes represented. Now even, the, even, even, even when we read this, hallelujah, when we read this, we really may not understand 
in a magnitude because now the mantle was God giving Jesus, hallelujah, the, the, the authority, hallelujah, and the, the, oh my God, hallelujah, don't let me lose it now, Holy Ghost, come on here, and the authority to walk in, hallelujah, he was coming as God representing himself, uh, himself because he was the son of God, hallelujah, that was his mantle, he was the son of God, glory be to God, but that vesture, hallelujah, that vesture, hallelujah, did, was seamless, and it was seamless from the top throughout the whole garment. He said, and that vesture was next to his skin. He said, now I want you to understand, hallelujah, that when we go through trials and tribulations, hallelujah, I want you to understand that God is covering you at all times. He said, now you may not have the, 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 the cloak and the clothes that they wore uh, back in those days, but still, hallelujah, you're wearing the mantle, hallelujah, of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, the mantle, hallelujah, Hallelujah, is your calling, hallelujah, and the vesture, hallelujah, is the Holy Ghost that's inside of us. So see now, anytime you're going through power, I mean, anytime you're going through struggles and this, that, and other, you need to remember the power that you're walking in. You need to understand the clothes that you're wearing, hallelujah. And he said another thing about the mantle. He said, didn't I tell you that the mantle was covering so that you won't be naked? Some of y'all walking around naked because you ain't got no mantle and you ain't got no covering. And God is saying you better get yourself together, hallelujah, and get a mantle, hallelujah, which means the salvation walk, hallelujah, and come in under my covering, hallelujah, because you don't have a clue, hallelujah, what the inner vesture is because you can't walk in the power unless you have the inner vesture. And I said, okay, God. God Almighty, I said, okay, Lord. I said, well, did the disciples understand this? He said the disciples understood one thing, that if they didn't have on the mantle, that they just had on that, 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 that inner garment, that they were naked. That's why when Jesus appeared and he was standing on the on the, on the, uh, 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 shore, hallelujah, and Peter and them was, uh, uh, was, was fishing, hallelujah, Peter only had on the in a garment. He didn't have on the cloak come on here. That's why Peter threw himself in the water, he said, because he knew he was naked. And so now he said, he said, now I want you to tell the people this, hallelujah, I want you to tell them glory be to God. That 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 that, 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 that also represents his sass as a banner, hallelujah, of who he was, that he represented his priesthood. He represented that he came from God who is a spirit, and a spirit has no beginning and no end, hallelujah. He was mocked as being king of the Jews, hallelujah, but he was more than that. He was the Christ, hallelujah, Christ, the all, the overcomer of death, hell, and the grave, as we, hallelujah, are right now, because we ourselves walk, hallelujah, in the mantle, we have the mantle, and we have the vesture. That's the reason why we're covered. We're not naked. You're not a bastard, honey. You are a child of the most high God. I don't care what people talk about you about. I don't care what they say say about you. You are covered, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are covered all around. You've always been covered. You've never been naked, hallelujah. You've never been hungry and thirsty and thirsty, this, that, and the other. God has always provided for you. And what makes you think he's going to stop providing for you now? Every day of our lives. We take up on the cross. We preach and teach his word. When we tell somebody about the goodness of Jesus, uh, when we set somebody out of the enemy's hand and turn their lives around, bringing them to Christ, we are holding up the mantle. The old folks used to say, holding up the bloodstained banner. Hallelujah. But now, hallelujah, with the indwelling of the Holy Ghost, that vesture that we have inside of us, hallelujah, running with living waters, hallelujah, it keeps us, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It keeps us not only sane, but it keeps us with a word, a right now word in our mouths. Hallelujah. To whereas we can tell any and everybody, if it had not been for Jesus on my side, where would I be? I'm so glad he walks with me. I'm so glad he talks with me. I'm so glad he tells me I'm his own. I'm so glad every time I turn around, I'm blessed. When I wake up in the morning, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. When I put on my clothes before I go to work, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm right down the highway, I'm blessed, hallelujah. Every time I turn around, hallelujah, I'm blessed. 
I'm being blessed. You're covered. I said, Jesus walked around. Hallelujah. That's why he didn't have to say he was the king of no Jews. All he said is, I'm the son of God. Because he knew already. Because he's, he wore his mantle. He had his inner vesture in his clothing. Why do you think, hallelujah, the soldiers wanted to cast lots? Now they said between themselves, all right, they tore the cloak. Four, four parts, four parts of the earth. But that inner vesture, they couldn't, they couldn't do nothing with it. You know why? Because you know why when Jesus was on that cross, not one bone was broken. Come on here. Not one bone was broken. He was still whole, hallelujah. When everybody else's legs was being broken, arms was being broken, Jesus was still in hallelujah. And so now, you want to give up now? I dare you. Don't you give up now? I dare you. I dare you to call on the name of Jesus and he don't come to your rescue. I dare you, hallelujah, to speak the name of Jesus and you don't, you don't see a change, hallelujah. I dare you, hallelujah. We have been commissioned to go out and preach the gospel through the four parts of the earth. We don't know where those soldiers came from, hallelujah. They could have been all the way from the north side, the east side, west side, west, uh, anywhere. But they were hired, hallelujah, to, 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 to nail Jesus to the cross. And they, they broke off the mantle, hallelujah. That means it's going to be spread throughout the world. Come on here. Come on with me. Come on here. But that in a vesture, they said, now look, we're not going to tear this. We're not going to tear this. But we're going to cast lots to see who it's going to be. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. Do you hear me what I say? Do you hear me what I say? The outer garment being covered by God and the inner garment is that of the Holy Spirit that is seamless and it runs throughout us each and every day. Good God Almighty, I am tired about it. So when you carry the mantle, you better carry it well. Hallelujah. When you carry the mantle, that covering, that's the reason why some ministries need to be covered. Hallelujah. Because you're naked out there. Hallelujah. And you're doing all manners of things and you don't want to be in check. Hallelujah. But the mantle, hallelujah, gave, given to Jesus, hallelujah, he knew exactly the mission that his father would put him on. He knew exactly what he had to do, hallelujah, to save souls, hallelujah. He didn't have no second thoughts. Uh, he wasn't double-minded about it, hallelujah. He didn't have no slip sticks, slip stitch to where if you give me a way out, hallelujah. Because when he was in the garden, hallelujah, and was, he was praying, he said, Lord, if it be thy will, remove this cup for me. Then he thought about that thing. He said, I'm being double-minded. He said, but nevertheless, God, not my will, but let thy will be done. A seamless ministry. A seamless ministry. We got a seamless ministry. It ain't got no double stitch, no slip stitch. We ain't got to have no knot no way in it. And then when he said that the that the uh, uh, mantle was uh, rented from the top throughout, did not the veil was torn from the top to the bottom? that lets us have access to God. We don't have to go through the priest no more. We could come to God freely, hallelujah, on our knees, hallelujah, on our face, good God Almighty. And we can tell God everything, uh, 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 anything that we want, hallelujah. We don't have no hindrances, hallelujah, to speak to God. What are you waiting for? You don't believe him? You don't believe that he, he's alive? You don't believe that there is a God? Shame on you because God is real. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. Who can make a brown cow eat green grass and then have white milk? Come on Who? Who? Can tell the birds to fly south? Hallelujah. When it's time for the, for the winter. Who? You can. Glory be to God. Who can speak to your body and lay hands on your body and tell your body to heal? Hallelujah. Even the blood that rolls through our black veins. Hallelujah. When we get a cut, hallelujah, don't, don't it heal on its own? Sometimes we don't even have to put no effort.
alcohol on it. Sometimes we don't have to put no, uh, no, 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 no peroxide on it. But even if we do, don't it heal? God thought about everything. I'm so glad I serve a God like that. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Glory be to God. So now life and death is in the power of your own tongue. Hallelujah. You need to speak over yourself. You need to lay hands on yourself. Hallelujah. You got the power, glory be to God. You got the power. You got what's necessary within you. Hallelujah. To complete this journey. Hallelujah. Who told you you was little old me? I'm underdog. You ain't no underdog no more, honey. Now you over the dog. Hallelujah. You, 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 you are. Hallelujah. The great I am. Hallelujah. You ain't no underdog no more. You got power. You ain't no little old me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because we got the mantle and the vesture in our tongues. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Stop running around here being naked. I know some people say, hallelujah, we don't need to be covered. Hallelujah. Our ministry is covered by God. This and another. Oh, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. This and another. But let me tell you, the apostle can teach you some things. That's what the apostles did. They started up the church. They laid the foundation. The foundation is the teaching. Come on, hallelujah. Some teachings, hallelujah, you, can't, you, you, you got to be there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My minister told me that. I said, Pastor, I, I just love the teachings that you're doing on Acts, hallelujah. But you need to, you need to have a class because I can't write everything down. I need to write. I want to say I can't record it. I, it's, 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 it's got so much power in it. It's so good. I, I just wish you just take time. That little hour, 45 minutes, not long enough. I said, okay, and then I'm going to consider doing that then because we need to have the word broken down to us line on line, precept on precept, hallelujah, to understand the mind of God. And because we are his children, we are considered as little gods in this earth walking around, hallelujah, preaching the gospel. So now this glorious ministry called salvation, join it right now. If you have not taken or have not spoken or have not uh, 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 confessed, hallelujah, that you want the Lord to be your Lord and your Savior, hallelujah, that Jesus is the Lord and the Savior of your life, do it now, hallelujah. Let God be the Savior of your life. Join, hallelujah, CTM. Join, hallelujah, a church body. Good God Almighty. Join, hallelujah, and learn of Christ. Join, hallelujah, and learn about the mind of God and Christ. Hallelujah. The, how he never forgot not one thing. That's the reason why he never told, hallelujah, and will not tell the angels in heaven upon his return because, hallelujah, the enemy is always listening, honey. The enemy did and he say that I was going to and fro in the earth seeking whom I may devour. Hallelujah. He wasn't going to give Satan the upper hand. That's why some things you, 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 you just can't tell everything. Hallelujah. Because the enemy listening too. The enemy listening too. And sometimes you be wanting to tell girlfriend, boyfriend, this, that, and the other, hallelujah, this, about this, da, 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 and you, da, 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 but you got to let them sit under the word a little longer. I heard Bishop Robinson say today, hallelujah, stop looking at them people crazy coming in with purple hair, coming in with rings all in their ears and nose, this, that, and other. Let them come on in, hallelujah. Stop talking about them young ladies with them dresses so short, this, that, and the other. They, 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 they look like hot pants and this, that, and the other. Let them come on in. Let the word clean them. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Let the word clean them. Keep your mouth off of them, hallelujah. Let the word clean them. Because when the word clean them, hallelujah, they clean, hallelujah. They got to do nothing. They, they, they can get that faith by themselves, hallelujah, because God has given every man a measure of faith. But their faith will, will increase once you let them in, hallelujah. Stop hindering people being a stumbling block for people over your insecurities. Glory be to God. Jesus wore his mantle and his vesture, his banner, every every day just like we should just like we should now i want you to come while the blood runs warm in your veins and if you haven't accepted christ as your lord and savior i want you to do it now 
because God is looking, hallelujah, and wanting you, hallelujah. It's not by chance, happenstance, that you listen to this message on tonight. Glory be to God. Because God told me that he was going to send me the remnant. Hallelujah. So I'm still just waiting. Hallelujah. I'm still preaching. Hallelujah. I'm still going to teach. Hallelujah. And how many of you know the remnant ain't lost? The remnant is just a piece. Hallelujah. Off the dead boat. Y'all didn't catch that. But y'all catch Those who stole, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you who stole seamstresses, you know what I'm talking about. So now, get it together and choose Christ as your Lord and Savior because God is an awesome God. There's no one like him, never will be, never shall be. I don't care if you have a drug addiction. I don't care if you used to sell your body. I don't care. If you still dealing with those things, I don't care if your mama wasn't nothing, daddy wasn't nothing, this, that, another. Do you think God cares? Did he not speak to the Samaritan woman and said, you got five husbands and the one that you got in there now, it's not your husband. Did he flinch? But then in the beginning, did he not say it is imperative that I must go through Samaria. Hallelujah. Because I got someone that needs a word, and she was one person who went back and told everybody about a man who told me all about myself. Come and see this man. Glory be to God. Come and see. And that's what I want you to do. Come and see. Hallelujah. Come and see. Hallelujah. Share this, this message with somebody. Come and see. Hallelujah. Come and see. Come and see. About a woman. Hallelujah. Who told me. Hallelujah that I have a seamless ministry and I'm wearing it and can wear it every day of my life so that I'm never alone. Now we understand how them old folks used to understand, hallelujah, never alone. I'm never alone, hallelujah. No, never alone. If you're Baptist, you 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 know that song. Glory be to God. And so now those old folks used to sing those hymns of Zion. Hallelujah. And when we were young and sitting up there, we didn't know what they were talking about. But good God Almighty, thank God I know now. Thank God I know now. Hallelujah. I wouldn't trade this journey for nothing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for opening up my eyes when I was out there in the world. Hallelujah. Everybody got a testimony. If don't nobody have a testimony, they ain't saved, baby. If ain't nobody got a testimony to say how God changed their lives, brought them out of the muck and miry clay, hallelujah, out of the stench of life, something wrong with you. Because I know, hallelujah, hallelujah, we got pastors that have been on drugs before, hallelujah, but now they're clean walking around. You wouldn't even know it unless they tell you their testimony. We're not worried about what you've been through. You could have been to jail and all that kind of stuff. Who had it, honey? Someone must have been there. So get over your past. Come on in here and work for the Lord. Hallelujah. Give your life to the Lord. The only reason why you're still here is because of his grace and his mercy. So give him your life. This is Apostle Venetia Adams with Continuing Truth Ministries. And this is the fifth Sunday in January. Glory to God. And Monday, tomorrow, we'll have a prayer line. And that prayer line number is 518-318-7590. It starts at 7 o'clock. Be on the prayer line with us tomorrow. On Wednesday, we have Golden Nuggets Bible Study. Hallelujah. We're learning and we, we, we're learning the mind and, 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 and the, the, the mind of God and Christ. Because Jesus said, I 
Me and my father are one. That's out of John 10 and 30. Hallelujah. Me and my father are one. They were with the same mind. When they were up in the upper room in the temple, hallelujah, they prayed, hallelujah, with one accord, meaning they had the same testimony, meaning that they had the same thing that they were praying for with supplication, prayer with supplication, hallelujah. So therefore, we need to be with one accord. We need to be about our Father's business. Glory be to God. And God has given many of you a many of gifts and skills. Give it back to him through ministry and through salvation. Walk in the power that God has given you. Hallelujah. Once again, this is Apostle Venetia Adams. On Thursday at 7 p.m., we have conversations with Pastor D. No judgment, no nothing. We're just here to listen. Give you a word, hallelujah, from the Lord, hallelujah, so that, hallelujah, you'll be able to talk to someone. Don't you know that there's some, some people just need somebody to talk to? So glory be to God. So that's what we're here for, so you can talk, hallelujah. And I will be very happy to listen and help you, hallelujah, with whatever it is that you may stand in need of. Hallelujah. Once again, this is Apostle Venetia Adams with Continuing Truth Ministry. God bless you. Hallelujah. And we give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Remember, you got a seamless ministry. So keep it walking. Hallelujah. God bless you and I love you. And you take care of yourself. Glory be to God. Amen. And good night.